There's Oleg Meskaya. 27 years old. 20 and 0, 16 KOs. There's Bob Jackson, his trainer. Stepping into the ring right there with the glasses. David Tua with the Samoan garb as he enters the ring. Very, very aggressive fighter. Very, very strong fighter. If there's a way to describe David Tua, I guess he's Mike Tyson as a gentleman. Mike Tyson inside the ring, a gentleman outside the ring. Could be a lot of action in this fight. Oleg Meskayev is going to have to keep David Tua off him. He's going to have to use his left jab and bring that right hand over. He has to be ready to go. You don't need any rounds to warm up. You have to be warmed up when you're in the ring against David Tua. This is the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. David Tua, 26-0, 22 KOs. Oleg Meskayev, 20-1, 16 big KOs. Let's see how they measure up Tua and Meskayev. Meskayev, four years older. Big height, reach advantage for Meskayev and a 10-pound weight advantage. Give three quarters of a pound for Oleg Meskayev. Meskayev is taller, bigger, bigger reach. WBC International Rules is a 10-point must system. No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. A fighter cannot be saved by a bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. And we're getting ready to send it up to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the introduction that only he can do. Take another look at Oleg Meskayev challenging David Tua for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Originally from Kazakhstan, Russia, he is now from Brighton Beach in New York. And there is David the Terminator Tua from Western Samoa, originally now from Auckland, New Zealand. We are in Valley's Park Place in Atlantic City, New Jersey, awaiting the fireworks. David Tua, very calm. A lot of fighters moved in neck muscles. No, he's just looking across the ring. He knows what he has to do. David Tua, very calm. The corner's very calm. Here's Lou Duva to the right. Mascaya, looking very calm. The man with Meskayev on his back, that's his trainer, Bob Jackson. Al Gavin to the right with his glasses, one of the best cut men in the business. Let's go up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bally's Park Place, Atlantic City, and CBS Sports Budweiser Boxing Series. Main Events Monitor and your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., Chairman Jerry Gormley, Board Members Gary Shaw and Stephen Katz, Deputy Commissioner John Greco. The three judges scoring at ringside are Miguel Acuna, Henry Grant, and Steve Weisfeld. And when the bell rings in charge of the action, referee Lindsey Page Jr. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Bally's Park Place, Atlantic City, uh, let's get ready to rumble! In the red corner, weighing in at 233 pounds and wearing black, with a professional record of 20 victories, 16 by knockout, with only one loss, a native of Ave, Kazakhstan, now fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, here is the challenger, Oleg Muscat! 
And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, also wearing black but trimmed with white, weighing 223 pounds. His professional record, 26 victories without a loss, 22 by knockout. He's ranked number four in the world by the WBC from Auckland, New Zealand. Here is the WBC International Heavyweight Champion, David the Terminator II. All right, you have been explaining the rules. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, go back to your corner until I tell you to come out. Here we go. This is 12 rounds of the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. There's David Tua, the champ, the Terminator. Tua man, as his trunks say. It's in the black trunks, the Tua man. Across the belt. Here we go. Round one, schedule 12. Skyv has to use that left jab. Back up to his trunks, a 100% Samoan. It's a black trunks with the white trim. Sky, black trunks. A Skyv on the back of his trunks. So quiet comes over the ball ballroom. They know what Tua can do. He has tremendous knockout power with either hand. Skyev's jab is coming back a little slow after he throws it. Not bringing it up to the head, bringing it down. To his hands crossed in front of his chest. Little defensive wrinkle, I guess, to pick off any right hand. One minute gone here in round number one. Got very, very quiet in here. Him almost low, but not that low. Coming forward behind his left jab. Stop just using that left just to find Tua. Tua's not going anywhere. He'll be right in front of you. You cannot believe how quiet it is in here. Everyone is just watching David Tua. They know his power. Stop. Right in front of him, right at the top of us. Tua starting to come forward now. Sky very light on his feet. Tua with that chop in the left, another one on the jaw. Got a minute to go. Round number one. Skyev has not thrown that right hand just yet. Lou Duva yelled out overhand right for Tua. Waited too long and threw it and missed. Tua's coming forward. Skyev has just shown a left jab. That's about it. Tua comes in, goes to the body. Starts to pick up the pace. Less than 20 seconds to go. This guy is still working that left jab. 10 seconds to go here in round number one. Tua is still coming forward. As we approach the bell. Good first round for both fighters. Cautious, you understand? He's being very cautious. They're going to tell him in the corner to step up the pace and move close to it. So you just got to step your pace up a little bit. Double the left hand, bing, bing, and watch when he's close when you're breaking. Don't break slowly, break quickly, and have your hands ready for that counterpunch. Okay? So what's that? Get some water. 
So what's going to happen is he's going to step the pace up now. You just step it right up with him. Follow the game plan. <laughs> Don't miss any. Let's take it from him completely now. All right? Now get in there. Use that jab. Use that jab. Double the hook up. Go to the body. Bring it back to the other side. Step that jab. Seconds out. Good advice from both corners. Bob Jackson and Muskayev. Lou Duva, Roger Bloodworth for David Tua as we start round two. Heavyweights, 12 rounds for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. David Tua, the champ. Black, white trim that says Tua Man. Oleg Muskayev, black. His name on the back of his trunks. Bob Jackson, the trainer of Muskayev, gave some great information. He said, they're going to tell Tua to step up the pace. You do the same. Not too many times you hear a trainer tell a fighter what they're telling the other fighter. Two are very cautious, Jackson also noted. Two goes to the body again. Good left jab by Oleg Muscat. Got to keep working that left jab to drop that right hand. Tua just coming forward. Tua trying to cut the ring off. But here Bob Jackson in the, the sky is going to throw the right hand. Get the feeling Tua is waiting for the right hand so we can counter it with a left hook. Much the chess match out there right now. Big sweeping left hook by David Tua. The staff comes back with two punches and a right hand. Tua still coming forward. Still feel attention in the Valley's ballroom. Good left shot to the ribs by Tua. The staff comes back himself. One minute to go in round number two. Good right hand by Miskaya. And Tua's face looks like it's swollen up a little bit, especially the left eye. That would mean that Miskaya has a heavy hand. I want to say heavy hand, it's heavy hands. Tua's face looks a little red. Left eye looks a little swollen. Miskaya keeping his distance. He's right in front of Miskaya, but he backs up. Keeps it the same while he shoots the left jab. Less than 30 seconds to go in round two. Interesting early development in this fight. Two is eating left hand. Left hand, left, I'm sorry, left eye looks like it's swelling. I want to see what his corner does on that eye to get the end swell on it. 10 seconds to go here in round two. Sky very much in control right now in this round and this fight. Take a long look at Oleg Muskaya. Talking to trainer Bob Jackson as they work Bob, as Al Gavin works the end swell on his eyes. The jab is setting up the right hand. You understand? Put your hands down. The jab is setting up your right hand. You see the opening? What? Chop that right hand on his button. You understand? And punch and recover. You see, he can't deal with the movement. He can't deal with the jab. Just don't be slow or sloppy. And look to unload that. All you got to do is throw combination. Get close to this guy. Let, the, get, let your hands move. Don't follow this guy, right? You're following him around. You're following him. You're not getting Step your hands over with the guy. Stop the job. Move that shit. Here we go. Round number three. Chua comes out of his corner a little bit faster. His corner said throw more punches. Two in the black with the white trim. It says two a man. Muscaiff with the black says Muscaiff on the back. Two throws a looping left hook. Another good left by Oleg. He's working in there. Keeps his hands up. Very subtle by Muscaiff. Kind of moves to Tua's right as Tua throws the left hook to try and nullify the power. But you don't want to do that too often. 
Pouring a little bit at that left eye. It's a little swollen underneath. Nice combinations by this guy. All headshots. No body shots in this fight except from Tua. Tua not throwing a lot of punches. To a foot, David Izanmate, big boss, took a lot of right hands. To a, just threw a quick right over the lazy left of Miskaya. To a moving the head, but not that much. Good body shot by Tua. Miskaya comes back. To his left hand's a little bit too low. He's asking to be hit by that right hand. Sky can't seem to miss with that left jab. He's got radar in it. Nice right hand by Sky. Good punches. Referee Lindsey Page told him, keep it up a little bit, though. Less than a minute in round three. Good round from the sky. Tua continues to stalk, but get hit. He keeps getting hit by that Mascara left jab. Good action here. To his left, picked off by Paskayev's arms. 15 seconds ago, round three. Two are coming forward, not throwing a lot of punches. Missed with the big right hand, but Paskayev did not. Good round from Paskayev. His eyes got big at the end of that round. Sky is showing that he is in command right now, not getting too nervous. Let's listen to Bob Jackson's instructions. Get them relaxed. Now listen to me. You gotta throw your punches a little quicker and in bunches. You understand? Ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -bum. And keep them hands coming up. Double the jab and look for the right hand. I mean, when you're popping him with that jab, he's going like this and like that. If he comes to range for that right hand, David Tua trying to close the distance between Mascara. Good right hand right through the gloves. It looks like it did a little bit of damage. So at the end of the round, Seconds both out. fighters went at it. Look at Mascara's eyes. Just standing there. He's fighting back. Not scared at all. Knows what to do as the bell sounds for round number four. Mascara in the all black. David Tua in the black. The white lettering. To his left eye, and he still looks like it's a little swollen. Good combination by two as he starts to come on. The sky up again. Keeps his hands up, works the head, doesn't bother with to, his, to his body, just goes to the head. Continues to throw that left out there. Skaya keeps those hands up. Those body shots by two are doing some damage. Borderline, but not low. Sky keeps his hands tucked in, so Tua goes right under the elbow. Sky tries to pick him off with the elbow. Two is so short, he's throwing a level punch, hitting the Sky right on the belt line. Tua not working his jab, though he's a shorter fighter. 
He's just coming in, not a lot of head movement, trying to throw that leaping left hook ahead, either digging into the body or trying to bring it upstairs to the head. Stab continues to backpedal a little bit, but works that left jab. A right and two lefts by two. This guy kind of picked him off on his glove. Good left hook by this guy. Less than a minute in round number four. Someone say upset? This guy using just enough movement to keep that distance a constant with two, making two a come to his left there. Nice right inside by this guy. Nice combinations. He's doing well right now. Not in awe of Tua. Not freezing like he did against Oliver McCall, where he got stopped in one. Ten seconds to go in round number four. Chopping right hand by Tua. Another good round. Very much in control of himself. In the last 30 seconds of this air fight, that's what you gotta do with this air round. You gotta go out there and get punch, you gotta punch fast. You're making him take the fight away from you. Get close and punch. Bring them punches up. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you much more now. I'm gonna tell you. Hey, you got this here now? Get close to this guy. Get close to this guy and punch. Okay? You're waiting too long. Step on the side. You're following him. Understand? <laughs> Dave, you got that now? Come on, now let's get up. With, don't let this guy take the play with me. Come on. Make a fight early. Gotta make a fight early. Gotta move. This guy very calm. Looks for that opening. Tries to land that right hand. Good left hook. Can't land one punch. He uses the other. Good, good, smart move. Two are coming on a little bit. Seconds out. Seconds out. Look at this guy. Look at the defense. Almost like a crab. Just rolled his shoulders, blocked the punches. Most of those did not get in. There's the battle for round number five. Referee Lindsey Page pulls down the Skyhawk's pants just a little bit. Just redefined the bank belt line. The Skyhawk, all black trunks. Tua, the black, with the white piping and lettering. Tua man is the new nickname, I guess, that David Tua was called the Terminator for the longest. It still was introduced as the Terminator. But he's been eating a lot of left hands by all of the Skyhawk. He was very effective in the last 30 seconds. I don't think that won the round for Tua. Tua was trying to come forward, trying to cut off the ring. Good left, another good left. Misses with a right, lands another left. Lands another left. The sky goes out to the center of the ring, starts working that left jab. Tua coming forward again. The sky trying to drop the right hand on him. Lands good punches. Tua's left hand a little bit too low. That crisscross defense is not picking off the right hand. Right now, it's a classic battle of a boxer puncher. Sky with the upper hand right now. Sky well trained, hands up high. Bob Jackson's trainer said he took the European stand up style out of the sky. Still see a little bit of it, but it's working well. Got his weight on his back foot, like he's trying to throw that right. I think two has shook him up a little bit with a left hook. This guy goes back to shooting those left jabs. Even throws in a hook. Back to the jab, and another jab. Two is just eating punches right now, trying to load up on that one big left hook. As Bob Jackson, the sky up's trainer, is yelling, throw the right hand. There it is. Tua is open for that right hand. Left hand is too low. Less than a minute in round five. Mascaif would land a good right hand. We have to see if he can back up Tua. Looks like Mascaif's legs wobbled just a little bit from that left hook for Tua. Tua starting to close the gap a little bit. Look at Mascaif. Back out to the center of the ring. Works the jab. 
They want him to throw that right hand. Two is open for it, because his left hand is a little too low. The sky doesn't really give anything away with his eyes wide open. He just seems like he's enjoying himself right now. Guy very active in there. Good left hook. Come to the end. Round number five. Good contest. Very good fight for Oleg Meskaya. Very much in command. Listening to his corner well. Bob Jackson doing a great job with the instructions. Very calm corner for Miskaya. Now Gavin works the eye with the end swell. Early in round number five, Tua was pretty effective. Left to the head, kept coming back with the same punch. Miskaya stayed there. Tua missed with the right, landed with the left again. Muskayev blocks it with his right. Very subtle with the defense with Muskayev. And there's the bell for round number six. Again, Lindsey Page, the referee, pulls down Muskayev's trunks just a little bit. Oleg Muskayev challenging David Tua's WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Two of the shorter fighter. Black trunks. Says two a man on the belt. White piping. Oleg Muskaya, all black. Two are born from Western Samoa. Now lives in Auckland, New Zealand, 26 and 0, 22 KOs. Muskaya, originally from Kazakhstan, Russia, now lives in Brighton Beach, 20 and 1, 16 KOs, no nickname. David Tua is known as the Terminator. Muskaya continues to work that left jab. Tua just seems to be loading up on one punch. Hasn't done any damage with it yet. Tua's right hand comes from way out. Because he's throwing an overhand. Miskayev continues to work that left jab. Good one-two by Miskayev. Good one-two by Tua. Tua stands right in front of Muskayev. Muskayev can't miss him with that left jab. Tries to bring that right hand over. That's what his corner wants. Tua's corner wants to make Muskayev go left instead of to his right. Again with a big right hand, Muskayev picking him off. Muskayev, a very good defensive fighter, keeps his hand up. Tua should have been working the body a long time ago. Still got a ways to go. There's one. Tua's still open for that right hand, the way he swings his head back. Tua coming forward, not jabbing his way in, not throwing a lot of punches on his way in. Trying to load up with that leaping left hook. Muskayev trying to get his range. Good left hook by Tua. Muskayev takes it well, and Muskayev comes back with two punches. Tua's punches seem slow, though. They're powerful. He seems a lot... I've seen him faster. Less than 20 in round six. Tua tries a chopping right hand and misses. Nice three-punch combination by Muskayev. A little low by Tua. Come to the end of round six, halfway. <laughs> David Tua's corner, not too happy. He's blowing the fight. David Tua, as we get ready to start round seven in a little while, 
not really putting the pressure that he's noted for. Usually he's a lot faster, seems a little sluggish. Miskayev keeping that distance, works that right hand, throws the punches, lands the right, steps back, but Tua chops him with a left and a right. Two is fighting back. Miskayev doing real well out there. There's the bell for round seven. Schedule 12, WBC International Heavyweight Championship. David Tua, the champ, in the black and white trim. Oleg Miskayev, su surprising, doing real well in the all black. His only big name on his record was former WBC heavyweight champ Oliver McCall who knocked him out in one. Tua lands a good right hand. Now he's starting to pick up the pace, working the body. That's the David Tua we used to. Works that body, comes inside. Miskayev comes back. Well, 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 Miskayev is showing. He's got a little skill and a chin and a little bit of defense. Tua goes back to the body. Miskayev comes right back at him. The way Tua is hooking those lefts, he could get beat to the punch. He better shorten those punches up. Minute gone here in round number seven. Very interesting chess match. The sky definitely listens to Bob Jackson. He, Bob Jackson yelled out one, two. The sky took a breath, threw a one, two. They both landed. The sky popping that left jab. He's going such a short distance, it's just landing all the time against the shorter man. The sky up about a good five inches taller than Tua, so he should be using the jab. A lot of fighters have that jab, that reach advantage, don't use it. The sky has an eight inch reach advantage over Tua, and he's using it. The sky up in second gear. Two is still in first, almost neutral. This guy up controlling the action by controlling his movement, making Tua come forward. Tua can counter that by coming and throwing punches. He is not doing that. He's just walking in, getting hit with those punches. This guy up can't miss him with that left jab of his. This guy up getting a little. A little creative in there. Threw a right uppercut early, missed, but kept throwing the left jab. Shoots the right, right down the pipe. Can't miss to her. This guy up doing very well. 30 seconds to go in round number seven. Good body shot by Tua, but he needs about another 50 more of those. Good chopping right by Tua. This guy up does not back up. Tough guy. Ten seconds to go in round number seven. Miskayev doing very, very well. Tua trying to go to the body, but not enough. Good end flurry by Miskayev. Miskayev again goes to his corner. Bob Jackson, the trainer. Snap it. Put your punches together. Beat me. Beat me. Move around them. Smart. You can do it. The beating. Steve. Keep your mouth shut. You understand? You want to be back? Listen to me. Put the pressure with this guy. Put the pressure with this guy. Put on his head. Put on his head. Put punches together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bob Jackson is definitely the boss in Miskayev's corner. Tells the second man, shut up. <laughs> I'm the only one talking as we start round number eight in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Schedule 12. David Tua, the champ. Black, white. Piping, Oleg Miskayev, all black, very surprising. He continues to use that left jab effectively. 
Comes back with a right hand right down the middle. Can't miss Tua with every punch. Tua staying on the outside, trying to leap in with that left hook. So far, no effect. Miskayev has kept his hands up from the beginning of this fight. Tua's hands have been up and down, crisscrossed in front of him, trying to pick off the, the jabs. Not working. Now he seems to be picking up the pace again. When he picks up the pace, he goes in Miskayev's body. Let's see if he does it. I have doing very well right now, working the jab, keeping the distance, letting it work for him. Good overhand right by Tua. Tua starts to come on now. Didn't see Miskaya's legs buckle. He fights back. Not afraid of the Terminator. Miskaya right in front of Tua, but just moving, controlling the distance by just using his legs, making Tua come to him and come to his left jab. In a sense, meeting the jab halfway. That was a good, good right hand by Tua. That's the best punch of the night for David Tua. But Miskayev is still there. Now Miskayev has to be busy. Every time Tua comes on in this fight, so does Miskayev. Tua does not seem to be effective with the left, so he keeps trying that overhand right. This guy up doing very well. Nice right hand by Oleg. Another leaping left hook. Tua gets hit coming in. Another left by this guy up just using that left hand. It's a good left hand, brings it straight back. Wasn't doing that in the very opening minutes of this fight. Very well schooled, Oleg Miskaya. Two is asking to be hit by that right hand. Throwing a lazy jab from his waist instead of from the shoulder. Good right hand by Miskaya. Good punches by Miskaya. I'd like to see him throw a one-two right down the middle. Miskayev can't seem to miss with either hand. Tua looks frustrated out there. He's trying to throw that one punch, but that's not enough. And again, another good round by Oleg Miskayev. Don't you come back here like no pussy. You come back here like a man. You understand? Get back to this corner. You can win this fucking fight. You understand? You gotta reach back. Reach within yourself. See this right hand? One, two, three. Shut up. Jab, jab. Here comes Stewart, trying with that right hand to chop down all of Miskaya. Hit him high on the head. Sometimes it makes a guy wobbly. Not this guy, Miskaya. Here he comes back. He shoots his left, right, just throws a lot of punches and bunches. Can't give Tua a chance to get off. Keeps working on that left eye. Seems like it's a little, hasn't swollen too much more, but it's still a little problem for him. We wait the bell for round number nine, and there it is. Scheduled for 12. David Tua continues to Take left jab by Oleg Miskaya, who's in the all-black trunks. After eight rounds, as we are into the ninth round, I have Oleg Miskaya ahead by 4.78 to 74. We know what Tua can do in the 12th round. The only other time he went 12, he scored a knockout over David Aizan in his last fight. But this might be different. Tua has not rocked Miskayev at all in this fight. Landed some good shots. Miskayev has taken them well. Stands right in front of Tua. Is not scared of the Terminator. Can't miss him with the left. Now Tua is trying to mirror him back and forth across the ring. Trying to cut the ring off on Miskayev. Miskayev now has the advantage. He can move any way he wants because he knows Tua is going to follow him. Good inside. Good punches by Miskayev. Inside, steps back, throws the left and right hand. The 
said earlier, two of fights like Mike Tyson, fighting like a present day Mike Tyson who freezes and is slow. Trying to use that one punch. Two is in danger of losing his first professional fight if he doesn't pick it up and pick it up big time. Oleg Maskaev fighting the perfect fight so far. Taking everything that Tua has to offer and then fighting back. Maskaev not breathing heavy, right in front of Tua. Every time Tua tries to get set, Maskaev punches. Maskaev trying to land that right hand right down the middle. Maskaev just using that left jab, just tattooing to, to his face. Tua is still open for a right hand right down the middle. His left hand is too far. And by crossing the right under his chin, he's slow to pick off any other punches that Maskaev's been throwing. Maskaev has not thrown a left hook in a while. Only thrown one right uppercut. Mainly it's been straight left, right down the middle. Big left hook by Tua. Seemed to slow down this guy just a tad. Might not be a rough, enough for Tua to win the round, though, as Maskaev comes back. Still a competitive bout. For the first time, Maskaev is breathing heavy. Forget your defense, get the hell in there and punch. I just gotta throw punches with the guy. Two of the man is ready to go. The man is ready to go. I got it, I got it. You're Bob and Weaver. They've been, you're not doing it. Bob and Weaver, get out there and punch him. Bob and Weaver, punch Here's the bell for round 10, scheduled 12 rounder. They wait as they do a little uh, cleaning up in David Tua's corner. Tua started to come on at the end of that last fight, last round. Oleg Maskaev's, Maskaev's trainer, Bob Jackson, said, this is fun. No, what I do is fun. Being in there is not fun. It's serious business. Both guys slugging right now. Tua seems to be picking it up a little bit, seems to be landing a little more. Maskaev's got to land one solid punch to keep Tua off him. Coming forward. Trying to throw punches. A sky up again. Showing just enough defense. Let those punches by two will whiz by. A sky up just working that left jab. If he can keep this up, the 10, 11, and 12 will be the new WBC International Heavyweight Championship, at least on my scorecard. But he's still got a ways to go. You gotta be careful with Tua. He can bang. Tua bobs a little bit, comes in. Small fighters should make themselves smaller by staying low. Tua fights back, but then so does Maskaev. Another right hand, chopping right by Tua. Now he tries to bring the right hand under. Tua seems a half second slow. Big left hook. Maskaev goes nowhere. Maskaev is a little too close right now to throw his right hand. He needs just a little more distance to make the right hand travel more to do some damage. Tua is just boring in right now. 45 seconds ago, Maskaev coming back now. Smart move by Maskaev. Just moved away from him.
the sky should be stepping back and throwing a right hand. Less than 30 seconds ago in round number 10. Another leaping left hook. A missing right by Tua. Miskayev comes back and throws punches. A little swelling under both eyes of David Tua. Oh, and a strike. <laughs> Just a bit outside by David Tua. Less than 10 in round 10. Spirited fight. Good combination by Tua. Now he's coming on. This guy looked a little tired at the end of that fight as he slowly goes that final round as he slowly goes back to his corner. Starting to wear down Oleg Muskaya. Two rounds. Your whole life is here. You understand? Keep up your movement. Keep up your Toward the end of the fight, Muskaya trying to find a little room. Two of one, two. Keeps coming forward. Just misses with the right. Two is very active, but not landing. Very determined look on the Terminator's face, David Tua. That's Oleg Muskaya. Don't bend down, Tua. Don't bend down. Bring me to side to side. Seconds out. Seconds out. That's the bell for round 11. Nowadays, these are the championship rounds, 11 and 12. Two is trying to pick up the pace. I have him behind four points. He's in black with the white trim. He's a WBC international heavyweight champion. The sky looked a little tired at the end of the last round. Continues to throw punches, though. Two has got to come under those punches and keep throwing punches. Miskayev has to keep that distance constant. Keep Tua off him by just using his legs. Then use the jab like that as he comes toward him. Tua looks like he's getting ready to throw that leaping left hook again. That and the right hand have been Tua's wild punches. They've landed, a lot have been blocked. Miskayev stays right in front of him, a lot of heart. Tua tries the chopping punches, but Muscaev keeps his hands up so high, he's blocking most of them. Muscaev's legs are a little wider. Takes a left on the hook, and another one. He's, his eyes roll back in his head on that one. Muscaev is out. He goes down, and a referee stops the contest. Man, David Tua has championship power. Once you get into those late rounds, even if he's behind, he can pull it out. Muskayev's eyes just roll back into his head. And he is a heck of a finisher. What, what a performance by David Tua. They're about to take the belt off, <laughs> off his, his waist. That corner though, the, the, the David Tua corner, they're happy at the knockout, but not that way. You don't want a fighter that digs himself a hole and has to dig himself out. Here's the replay. To it, bobs and weaves, just misses, throws a left that hurts him. Still, he's okay. That one did the damage. Right there, look at his arms. He can't control his hands. Now he's out on his feet. And that punch and that one, that was over. And here's a, a short fighter, 5'10", punching up with all that power. Muscaev, still a good defensive fighter, blocking the punches, two awaiting. He had all the weight, went through his legs. Right there, that right hand, Oleg Muscaev is out on his feet. That right there, he doesn't know where he is. He's trying to get his hands up. Those early punches by two are hard. You give him that second, he'll take it. That one missed, but... The sky was over. He had he had to fight, folks. Referee Lindsey Page is, did the right thing. No reason for him to continue. This Tua is a heck of a finisher. There's David Tua successfully retains his WBC International Heavyweight Championship, which was slowly coming off his waist. Not a good performance by David Tua. When you, 
And it's Michael Buffer with the final call. 16 seconds of round number 11. The winner by knockout victory and still WBC International Heavyweight Champion, the undefeated Terminator, David Tua. David Tua return, retains his title. Well, that Terminator needs to be tuned up a little bit because he took a big, big chance. Took a heck of a lot of punches. Didn't have the old David Tua fire. But man, the power just doesn't go anywhere. Even when he's behind, last two fights, David Izanrate knocked him out in the 12th. Oleg Miskayev knocked him out in the 11th. Man, making it difficult for the David Tua corner. No easy fights anymore for this guy. A lot of first round knockouts, then all of a sudden, life and death. This was really life and death. Miskayev, I had him ahead 97, 93 going into that 11th round. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for the outstanding effort from the challenger. Let's go ahead. Tua's stock might have gone down a little bit. Muskayev has gone up a great deal. He showed a lot. You see David Tua in the ring. Breathing heavy, sweating heavy. Very lucky young man, 24 years old. Ups his record to 27 and 0 with 23 knockout. Muskayev goes to 20 wins, two losses. But I think he impressed everyone who watched this fight. A lot of talent. The quickness of Tua, that can be negated a little bit, but that power cannot. What a shot. Let's go up to Tim Ryan in the ring for an interview with the victor, David Tua. I tell you, we scored only three rounds going into that 11th for you. It seemed like a flat performance and suddenly exploded with a knockout win. What's your view of it? Uh, first of all, I first tell you, Tua, you need a longer. Mom, if I fail, I want to First of all, I thank God um, for this great victory. What a shot. Let's go up to Tim Ryan in the ring for an interview with the victor, David Tua. I tell you, we scored only three rounds going into that 11th for you. It seemed like a flat performance and suddenly exploded with a knockout win. What's your view of it? Uh, first of all, I first tell you to you need a longer. Mom, you have a lot of boy. First of all, I thank God um, for this great victory today. And, uh, you know, it's one of those days I, I, uh, I have no... Uh, uh, excuses and make no excuses whatsoever. I have to give uh, Oleg Maskev uh, uh, a lot of credit for this fight today. And uh, this fight is over. We're going to move on to uh, June, 7. Uh, June 7 HBO. Okay, well, now, now, was he just that much more difficult for you than you expected, David, uh, David before you got a chance to take him out? Were you, were you surprised at the way he fought? Like I said, I make no excuses. You know, I, I felt a bit flat uh, going the first couple of rounds, but uh, I was able to come on uh, uh, in my own uh, a rhythm and uh, catch up and did the job. Oh, well, you sure did. Let's take a look at the uh, knockout. In the 11th round, it just kind of came suddenly. Uh, that left hook that you had, had been uh, throwing without effect, you were able to get it through here. Yeah, well, uh, they told me at the, the beginning of the fight, just go out there and just throw punches. But I couldn't get my rhythm uh, going until the, the, the later rounds, and uh, everything came on real good and uh, was able to do the job. All right, now you mentioned uh, that uh, you, you've got hopes uh, for the next fight. Uh, Lou Duba, who, do you, who would you like to have next? Uh, we'd like to fight almost anybody at all. We'd like to fight the, really the winner of George Foreman and Lou Savarese. I think that's a good fight. It would be a makeup for a good fight for television over there. But we're going, we're going to Sacramento, June 7th, and we're going to fight on HBO. That's where we're going. Okay, well, we'll certainly be watching, even though that uh, does not have the same call letters as our network does. Well, Nonetheless, yeah. congratulations to you, David uh, Tua. Uh, you pulled it out in 11, and you're still unbeaten. And good luck on your run to the heavyweight championship. We'll be back here. At well, that was Tim Ryan with uh, the new, the still, still WBC international heavyweight champ, David Tua. He was on the edge of blowing it. He, uh... Surprising when the, they talk about certain athletes, the last thing to go, certain in, in boxing, the last thing to go is the power. David, too, his power is going to be with him for probably another 20 years, but hopefully he can learn how to build up a lead and not have to re rely on that. Some guys you just can't knock out, and Oleg Muskayev came close to being one of those guys you couldn't knock out. But here's the sequence the left hook pins him against the rope. The little subtleties in boxing. The right hand keeps him from moving, doesn't know which way they're coming from. Then the left hook. Look at to his feet. Planted sol solidly. The right hand, all the power to him. The left hook misses. Tua just keeps him pinned. The right. Now look at the left up from the floor. Just missed. 
But then he comes back with the right hand. That's what's so impressive about David Tua. When he has you hurt, he keeps punching. Just keeps throwing punches. Glad that punch missed because Muscaev was out on his way down. Referee Lindsey Page did the right thing. Look at Tua, very subtle. Keeps his man pinned against the ropes and then throws punches from all angles. Does not give Muscaev a chance to move. Right there, okay, if I try and go left, there's a right. If I try and go right, uh-oh, here comes another punch. Can't go anywhere. He's stuck right there. Should have clinched him, should have grabbed David Tua, but didn't. Then he was hurt, that punch just ended it. David Tua, fine young prospect. Give him maybe a B minus, because he had to pull it out. He, uh, he said he had no excuse. He looked extremely flat. He's very fast when he's on his game. So if David Tua can get back to that uh, level, he's going to keep busy. He's going to keep, keep showing everyone that David Tua is somebody to be reckoned with. Well, from Atlantic City, from Bally's Park Place, this is Tony Page bidding you all a good night. We'll see you next time.